at the Arabian World Construction Summit, we're talking rotating buildings, and it's a pleasure now to speak to the person behind the world's first building in motion, the Dynamic Tower in Dubai, Dr. David Fisher, jet setting Dr. David Fisher. Welcome to the UAE. Thank you. So, there's been a lot of talk about this uh, unique project in Dubai at the beginning of 2009. What stage are you at with this dynamic building? Well, we are close to, to conclude all the formalities. And we believe in very few months we can do the launching of the first dynamic tower, as you said, the first building in motion. First building in motion. A lot to talk about, and especially with these challenging times with construction costs, your method of building is somewhat unique because it's a series of, what, prefabrications? Yes, maybe in a way it's a challenge within the challenge, you know, to face uh, such a unique uh, project in such a difficult time. Also because it is... Uh, top luxury building and um, prices are going to be very high of course. Yeah. So it is a challenge but it seems to be that today um, it's easier, be easier to, to go into the market with a iconic building, top luxury, sure. much easier but um, it's also prefabricated mentioned so the entire building is prefabricated that offers um, advantages in cost i believe and also speed of delivery no doubt uh, there is a lot of cost savings uh, time is much shorter we believe we can finish the tower 80 story tower in 22 months there is no other way to to build so quickly but prefabricating the tower your building is unique but in these challenging times of cost and delivery do you think prefabrication will be the way forward well, this is the future, there is no doubt. Today we build very similar, without offending anybody, very similar to the way the Romans built and the way the, the Egyptians built the pyramids. It's about time to go into prefabrication, okay. there is no doubt. Looking at the, the building in Dubai, the dynamic building, I mean, the thought of a building rotating is very appealing, but there must be a lot of challenges. I'm thinking of utilities, how do you supply water, electricity to floors which are rotating on their own. Well, this was indeed the biggest challenge, how to get water from a fixed pipe into a pipe that's rotating around it. But we managed. You see, we, we use technologies that exist in the different other sectors that never went into construction, never went into buildings. So we managed to find a solution. So if I'm just coming out of the elevator to my apartment, it's rotating, how fast will I have to move? Well, just like in a normal building. You don't feel the rotation. Yeah. Only when you look at, this, at the view, you see that the view changed completely and uh, the, the world is rotating around you, but you don't feel anything. Okay, and there's another aspect which I've seen in the publicity material, that is the prospect of driving your car onto, again, a rotating floor. And why not? It's much easier, makes much more sense. It's safer. You get uh, to your apartment on the 60th floor, on the 80th floor, with your car, you open the door, you're in your apartment. Okay. It makes much more sense. It's very easy, as a matter of fact. Uh, today we go, we use, um, uh, what do you call it, automatic parking systems. Yeah. We just go first down when we get home, yeah. and then to go out, we go up. I just change the direction. I go first up and then down. The rest is very simple. Okay. It's almost the same. If I am a purchaser of an apartment, what sort of control do I have on the rotation? Well. If you own the entire apartment, the big ones are uh, about 10,000 square feet, yeah. almost 1,000 square meters, you can rotate, it's voice activated. You just say right, left, okay. faster, slower, and the floor rotates. Now, if you share the floor with other apartments, <laughs> then you have to wait for your day. Maybe you're on, you, you pick up a Wednesday, so at dinner time, from okay. 6 to 10 p.m. on a Wednesday, you rotate. Otherwise, there'll be a battle. You might say right, I'll say left, and <laughs> conflict. <laughs> well, this is one of the many, many questions sure. that come and uh, brings a lot of interest to the project because people start to think. It's not a normal building, yeah. of course. Yeah. So, David, we've spoken about the dynamics of it, the construction, but what about the location of the, the first building in motion? Where in Dubai will it be located? Uh, we will announce the, the exact location yeah. in the UAE uh, All right. in the occasion of the, of the launch. Okay, keeping in suspense regarding that announcement. And to finish off, um, where in the world, I mean, you have a heritage of uh, Italy, Florence. Why Dubai? Why not Italy for the first rotating building? 
Uh, well, there are requests for several, from several cities, starting from uh, Milan to, to Rome, London, New York, so we'll build in different places. But I thought the UAE is the most suitable place to start such a building, the Tower of the Future. Uh, UAE is all about future, and what uh, the people did here is just amazing. So I thought this is the best place to start a United Arab Emirates. Well, Dr. David Fisher, thank you very much for your time. Nice thank to you catch sir. up with you at last. Thank, thank you. you very much. Okay, there you go. So as I rotate from rotating buildings to the camera, this is Phil Blizzard at the Arabian World Construction Summit in Abu Dhabi.